Have you ever wondered what it truly means to be in the present? The concept of present is more than just a point in time. It's a state of being, a mindset, if you will. It's about fully engaging with the current moment, absorbing the world around us without the taint of past regrets or the shadow of future worries. Imagine a world where every moment is savored, every sensation appreciated. That's the essence of being in the present. It's not about disregarding our past or ignoring our future, but rather about not letting these temporal dimensions distract us from the ongoing symphony of life. Just think about it. No amount of anxiety can change your past. No amount of worry can shape your future. The only thing you have control over is the present. So why not make the most of it? After all, it's in the present that you live. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, but today. But what happens when we fail to live in the present? Picture this. You're caught in a whirlwind of thoughts about the past, consumed by regrets and what-ifs. Meanwhile, the future presents its own set of anxieties, filled with uncertainties and hypothetical scenarios. You're stuck in this tug-of-war, unable to focus on what's happening right now. This, my friends, is the embodiment of the evil one. Interestingly, this concept isn't as foreign as it seems. It's subtly woven into the fabric of the Lord's Prayer, specifically in the Aramaic translation. Free us from the immaturity of not dwelling in the present. This phrase strikes a chord, doesn't it? It suggests that the evil one isn't a physical entity, but a state of mind. One that disconnects us from the present moment, leaving us stranded in the labyrinth of the past and future. The evil one, then, is not a physical being, but a state of being. Detached from the present, lost in the maze of past and future. So how can we escape from the grasp of the evil one? The answer lies in embracing the present moment with open arms. It's about realizing that the key to life isn't hidden in the unchangeable past, nor in the unpredictable future, but rather, it's right here, right now. The past is a library of lessons, not a house of regrets. The future is a horizon of opportunities, not a cloud of worries. But the present, ah, the present, is the stage where life truly unfolds. It's the only moment we can actually control, the only time we can truly live. Drowning yourself in what was or what could be is like trying to catch the wind. It's futile. Instead, direct your energies to the now. Let the past guide you, let the future inspire you, but let the present engage you. Remember, not being in the present is the evil one, so free yourself, live in the now and experience the power of the present. 